Now, buses carrying 202 foreigners have been intercepted by the Aflao Immigration Service upon a tip-off. The foreigners, made up of women with children as well as some elderly persons, are believed to have been hailing from Niger. Aflao Sector Commander of the Immigration Service, Assistant Commissioner Frederick ba Duodu, is urging the border community members to support the task force and volunteer information in order to help clear all the illegal activities, especially those entering the country illegally. K2 South MCE Maxwell Lugudo commended the Immigration Service for the arrest while noting the assembly, assembly is collaborating with the Immigration Task Force to end illegal entries into the country. Both of them spoke to my colleague Benjamin Akakbo earlier on News Desk. Apart from the, the static uh, operation that we are doing, uh, by the combined uh, uh, team of uh, security services, immigration, customs, police, and the Ghana Armed Forces, we put up, uh, put together another uh, three strong teams. One team from the Defense Intelligence of the Ghana Armed Forces, then another team from the uh, National Intelligence Bureau uh, to have another uh, that's special team. And then the immigration, also we have uh, another team. Uh, they are patrolling and they're making uh, snap checks and then gathering intelligence and then picking these people who have been able to uh, uh, find their way uh, into Afrawo and led into other parts of Ghana. When you get to Ativuta, we have immigration team there. Mm -hmm. Now another team has also been put at uh, the Keta, the uh, Dimu Keta road because they use there mm -hmm. also. Then another team too has been also been put at the uh, uh, Dimu uh, Georgia road. We have uh, another team there. Then the Defense Intelligence and then the National Intelligence Bureau are also within who are also uh, uh, taking intelligence and, and then taking them. But as for the stretch, mm. it's difficult for us to cover all the stretch. One of the challenges here in Kedusam is the porous nature of our, our border. There are a lot of uh, uh, unapproved routes that is very difficult to uh, uh, check on. Uh, it's not big easy. I had the opportunity to go around the, this unapproved route. There are a lot of challenges that I uh, recognize and, and I raise it uh, to the regional level. When you go through the unapproved route, you realize that the Togo side of uh, the border, they have these uh, uh, clean routes that you can drive on. Or when you are standing at this place, you can even see ahead of uh, uh, the other side. But uh, in, in Ghana side, we don't have those things. It's making our, our security agencies find it difficult to be going around all the time. However, uh, as Mr. Dodu just said, uh, there's a strong team that is uh, also patrolling 24-7. Uh, so we're doing everything possible to stop these uh, illegal uh, people coming in. If, if you have the opportunity to go around, you realize that it's, it's, it, there, there are a lot of work you have to do. Mm. Apart from that, uh, which I am even working on, most of our, our uh, street lights along the, the, the border, those places are not functioning. Right. Uh, some of the places, there are no light, uh, which is really scary if they put you there as a security uh, 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 personnel. So we're doing everything possible to, to quickly sort those things out.